Samsung in February unveiled the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, a high-end tablet that's meant to outshine the iPad Pro with its 14.6-inch OLED display. A small number of Apple employees appear to have been evacuated from the Apple Park campus in Cupertino, California, according to NBC Bay Area. There is little information at this time, but the news site says that a portion of the campus was evacuated. The Mac Studio isn't set to launch until Friday, March 18, but a French Apple fan was able to secure his new machine today due to a store error. As relayed to Mac Forever, an unnamed store gave the customer the Mac Studio early, and he has shared an initial photo of the new device. In late 2021, Apple stores and Apple authorized service providers gained access to a new AirPods firmware updater, diagnostic tool for updating a customer's AirPods Pro to the latest firmware version when necessary. Apple's team of employees working on the company's long-rumored electric vehicle has been dissolved for some time and must be reorganized soon in order for mass production of the vehicle to begin by 2025, analyst Ming Kai Kuo said in a tweet today. AirPods Max have returned to $449 in all colors on Amazon, down from $549. All models are in stock and ready to ship out today, but the silver model's stock is beginning to run out as of writing. Watch OS 8.5 fixes a security vulnerability in the mail app that could leak a user's IP address when downloading remote content, security researchers have found, before macOS 12.3 and iPad OS 15.4 were released to the public, Many beta testers who tried universal control were unable to get it working if they were already using an iPad in sidecar mode, but it turns out that in the final release you can actually enable both universal control and sidecar simultaneously on different devices, provided your setup allows for this.